Hey guys, if you often apply the same combination of effects on your clips in Final Cut Pro 10, whether that's visual effects or resizing objects using the transform tool, it can get pretty tiresome, not to mention using up a lot of your precious time. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to save those changes as a preset that you can apply really easily and save you heaps of mucking around. So don't go away. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to share a tip with you that could save you a bunch of time in Final Cut Pro 10, especially if you apply certain effects to clips over and over again. Stick around until the end, and I'll explain why this is the best method versus copying and pasting attributes. So let's get into it. As an example, here's a video I made a while back, and in the video, as I was explaining things, I had clips or pictures pop up onto the screen. So for each clip, I added them above the main timeline and then had to adjust the size and position to be just where I wanted it to show. When I was planning out the video and began writing down what photos or clips I wanted to include, I soon realized that there would be quite a few, and to make those adjustments manually to each clip would eat up heaps of time. And so I decided to see if I could save the changes I was making as a preset, and fortunately, you can. So here's how. The pictures I were adding to my video were a bunch of screenshots of other YouTube channels and videos. I wanted them to come onto the screen to visually illustrate a point that I was making. So to do that, I would pause the video where I wanted the picture to appear, and at that point, I would drag the picture onto the timeline and line it up. As you can see, it takes up the whole screen as it's above the main timeline, so I need to change the size of it. To change the size and location of it, all you need to do is select the clip or picture then click on the transform tool. You can then use these little handles that appear to resize it, but sometimes they're a little bit hard to grab, so I change the view amount to 25%, then I can grab them easily and start to drag it and resize it. Once I've started resizing it, I'll change the view size back to fit and carry on. So I drag it until I'm happy with the size, and then I click and drag it to the area I want it to appear. Then I unclick the transform tool by clicking done. You can then apply any other effects you want at this stage as well. I like to have a bit of a drop shadow, so I go down to the effects browser, type in drop shadow, and drag and drop that onto the clip. If you want to change any of the parameters, go up to the inspector window, select the video tab, find the drop shadow effect, and tweak anything you like, like the size, blur, position, that sort of thing. Right, I'm done. I'm happy with the position, the size, and look of the clip. But to do that for each and every clip would be a right pain in the ass. So here's how you can save all of those changes as a preset. And there are two ways. You can go up to the top menu, select File, and hit Save Effects Preset. Or you can hit this handily placed button at the bottom of the inspector, aptly named Save Video Preset. You get to choose what you call the combined group of effects you've created, and the category you want to save it in. You can save it into the custom folder, any of the other folders, or if you create your own, go down to the bottom of the list, select new category and create a new one of your choice. I'm going to save mine into the custom folder. Hit OK. Now, when you want to apply your newly saved effect, this is what you do. I'll add a new clip above my timeline that I want to apply my preset to, then go to the effects browser. Look in either custom, if that's where you saved it, or into the new effects category you created. In my case it was custom. And there it is. Now to apply your effect to the clip, drag and drop that effect onto your new clip like you would any other effect, and it's automatically applied, including the size and location settings that you changed while using the transform tool. Now I should say that you can apply these effects by selecting your original clip, hitting Command C on your keyboard, selecting the clip you want to paste these attributes to, and hit Shift Command V, and then paste the attributes or the effects you applied. Yes, you could do that, but the benefit of creating a custom preset is that it's available to you in Final Cut Pro no matter what project you have open. It will always be there as an effect you can apply, which is really handy if you plan on making videos with similar effects in the future. So there you go guys, a quick and easy way to save custom effects as a preset that will save you heaps of time when you have to apply the same combination of effects each time or in different projects. If you got value from the video, be sure to hit the like button below, and if you like this type of content, consider subscribing. Thanks guys, and we'll see you in the next video.